Hello, welcome to the Price Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video introduces Catherine Gray, the sister of the Nine Days Queen. Catherine was the sister of Lady Jane Grey and Lady Mary Grey, and also the granddaughter of Henry VIII's sister Mary. She was born in August 1540 and died on the 26th of Jan 1568. Her parents were Lady Frances Brandon and Henry Grey. This is Bradgate Park in Leicester. This is where Catherine Grey grew up. Both Jane and Catherine were initially married as part of the plot to exclude Catholic Mary I from inheriting the English throne on the death of her half-brother, Edward VI. Catherine, aged 12, was married to Henry Herbert, seen here as an old man in this portrait. The plot failed and after Jane's brief nine-day reign as Queen and her subsequent execution, as seen in this picture, Catherine's marriage was annulled and the Grey family faced ruin. Allowed to return to court as the closest heir, Catherine was closely supervised as both Mary I and Elizabeth I recognised the threat that an alternative claim to the throne could pose. However, Catherine was clearly not supervised as closely as she could have been, and in 1561 she was forced to reveal to her cousin, Queen Elizabeth, that she had secretly married Edward Seymour, Earl of Hertford, and she was carrying his child. Edward had been sent abroad on a diplomatic mission by Elizabeth and heavily pregnant Catherine was left with no options. She was alone, terrified and could no longer keep her marriage hidden. Elizabeth was furious. As a queen without an official heir, her position was constantly under threat and if Catherine had any sons, she might be used in plots against her. Elizabeth sent Catherine to the Tower of London and also imprisoned Edward there once he returned to England. In the tower, Catherine gave birth to her son Edward. An investigation into the situation ended with the declaration the marriage was invalid, as Jane, the only witness, was dead, and the priest who married them could not be found. This made the children illegitimate and ineligible for the throne. Catherine and Edward continued to meet in secret during their imprisonment in the tower and Catherine fell pregnant again with another son called Thomas. Elizabeth now separated them completely and decreed that both were to be kept under house arrest. Edward and the older son were sent to Edward's mother's home and Catherine and the new baby were sent to her uncle. Catherine, with her family torn apart, fell into deep depression. She languished away, being moved from house to house, repeatedly begging the Queen for forgiveness. At the age of 27, Catherine died. She had spent the last years of her life imprisoned. Her crime had been making her own choice and marrying for love, something that was forbidden to a royal heir and an unforgivable offence to Elizabeth I. It is thought by some historians her deep unhappiness led to anorexia, which took her life. Before she died, she arranged to have three rings sent to Edward, her engagement ring, her wedding ring and memento ring engraved the words, while I lived, yours. This is an example of a memento ring, although it isn't the one that Catherine sent to Edward. In 1608, the marriage of Catherine and Edward was declared legal. They are buried together in Salisbury Cathedral in England. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, or you can follow me at Little Miss History 81 at Tanya Alex 38.